Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a very, very special video. This video was inspired by Georgia Harris and Squeaky Lips and Fat Hips who did a collab inspired by the previous Kat Von D and Too Faced collab. If you don't remember, a long, long time ago, Too Faced and Kat Von D did this thing. And it was not very well received, but to that end, it really highlighted this cool concept of making a pair of palettes that go together, um, that are sort of that better together, BFFs for life kind of a concept. Um, so Spooky Lips and Fat Hips and Georgia Harris did a similar concept where they pulled singles from their collection and made this sort of palette pairing. So my aunt, Beauty K Unfiltered, and I have done the same thing, and I'm so excited to share with you um, my half of the palette. You'll definitely have to go check her channel out for her half of the palette, and I'll leave her information down below. Make sure you're subscribed to both of us if you haven't already. But without further ado, let's get into my half of the palette. each pulling 10 pans and what we decided um, was to be able to access both pans that are in palettes as well as singles um, which is good so what I decided to do for my half of the palette was sort of explore a color story that was past present and future because when I think about the colors that if I ever made a palette would have to be in that palette they don't all necessarily go together but they all definitely represent a certain time in my life so for the first part of the palette pairing, I wanted to include some singles that really represented that time in my life when I was just starting out with makeup. I was really scared of color, I was scared of deep colors, um, and I really stuck to a couple of staples. And so I pulled these three, pa three, three shades from my collection. So this first one is a nice kind of neutral beige color. It is a matte. This next one, when I went and reorganized all of my singles, I have no less than nine versions of this exact same color um, from different producers, um, different brands, but it is a pink color with like a golden sort of duochrome flip to it. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it there, but I will do some swatches for you. And then the last is sort of a, a nice mid-toned kind of teddy bear brown. And it is also matte. And in the early part of my makeup exploration, this is a big part of what I would have put together for a makeup look. I would have had the matte brown in the crease. I would have had, what am I doing? What am I doing? Such a good question. I would have had this up on my brow bone, I would have had this all over my lid, and I would have had that in the crease, and I would have called it a day. There would be absolutely no other colors being brought into this. No liner, a little bit of mascara, and we'd be good to go. Because I know that that is where my makeup roots started, I wanted something like that to be able to be represented in the palette. Additionally, if you're thinking about the cohesiveness of a palette, are these colors going to go with everything else that's in the palette? Probably not. Um, but do they go together and do they provide that pop of neutral that you need in like a typical palette? Yeah. Okay. So then the next thing was to think about the present. What am I into now? And if you haven't figured it out already, Purple is what I'm into now. If you look at my Instagram, which I will link down below, there are tons and tons and tons of purple looks. So I really knew that I needed to include some really like standout purple colors to round out this look. So the first color that helps me do that is probably one of the most stunning, and this is Cavity by Davina Cosmetics. I don't know if I'll be able to get it to show the shift. Probably not. But it has this really pretty iridescent pinky lilac kind of color to it. You might be able to pick it up there. It's really hard to pick up. I tried putting it out in the sun yesterday and that was an epic fail. You might be able to see it a little bit better. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. So you can see how it kind of goes to like a clear 
shade but then as you get like more direct light on it you definitely get some pops there um you'll have to trust me it's absolutely stunning if you ever thought about picking up any of the divina sugar drops do it right now the next shade is silver lining from ColourPop, and it is sort of a matte mid-toned purple shade it looks really really pretty and i feel like it can go purpley or brown so if you're thinking like Oh, I don't know how that's going to work in with these other shades. I think that purple kind of helps tie in these more neutrally shades here. But it's really pretty even on its own. Um, so yeah. And I'm surprised at the number of mattes that I chose to put in this. Because honestly, I'm such a shimmer girl that like mattes don't even enter my mind. The next one is from Cleona Cosmetics. This is Hex. And it's a really, really pretty royal purple, and you can see it flashes to gold. So there it looks almost gold. There it's like purple. Such a pretty color. And you can see that shift really easy on the finger. This is the color that I have all over my lid. And you can see just how pretty that shift is as you move your hand love it love it 10 out of 10 love it so that's the first half of the purple part of the color story the next part is coming from a couple of palettes so I have the glam light cake palette and they have this one shade in here Ube Ube I'm not sure how you pronounce that I've seen it in a couple of desserts themed makeup things though so I'm pretty sure I'm missing out on some kind of dessert so if anybody knows what that is leave it in the comments down below um, this is like a super super bright lavender kind of shade and I just thought it would look so pretty it helps kind of bring up some of the intensity for the purple part of this color story so that was the next one and then the last two purples are coming out of this bad boy which is the magic mini by juvius um and the colors specifically that i'm looking at are faso and ife which are down here Whoop. there and there um this faso shade is like a lilac-y kind of shade that flips almost a blue pink so it has this really really cool toned vibe to it which i like so I thought with Hex, you know, that would be definitely going a little bit more warm toned. Um, but I wanted a, a cool tone option as well because I'm definitely getting into more cool toned. And then Ife, like, look at that. It's like this smoky blurple. Like, it just is. And it has so much richness and depth to it that it, like, ooh, Fallout City, but it's worth it worth it worth it worth it so that's oof, that's them and you can definitely see you can definitely see the shift here as you look across my hand why I decided to swatch all the way up there I have no idea um, but so that six pan is the sort of now portion and then the last part of this is what do I see for the future so for the future I was trying to think about what are the colors that I'm starting to get into that I'm starting to get to get brave enough to try that I wasn't brave enough to try earlier and really kind of dive into that direction and the colors that I started thinking about were blues and greens but specifically greens because I was always really nervous to play with color and now that I'm getting into color it's like the bright like really scary looking colors I always thought I was not capable enough to use and I'm changing my mind on that so the first one to pull out is the Ruby May Cosmetics Purple Kush palette and it has this really really pretty like electric chartreuse kind of shade and I'll show you what that looks like it is a matte it definitely comes through matte but I think it looks really pretty and I think paired with the purples it'll give me like a pop of interest so I was definitely super excited to play with that one I know I needed some deeper shades for the green 
part of things, especially because the only like super deep shade I had was um, Ife. So I wanted to pull like a deeper green as well to kind of round things out. So I picked up the um, Profusion Emeralds palette. This palette, if you have not tried it yet, is fantastic. It has so many beautiful shades. Um, but I pulled this really deep pine shade called Galaxy, which looks like this. And it is like a smoky kind of mahogany brown with a lot of green glitter in it. So you can see, can you see, can I get my camera to focus? Of course not. There we go. So you can kind of see as the light hits it that there's just this super kind of green reflect for it which I think would just look nice smoked out on the lower lash line or in the outer V like either of those things would look really really pretty so definitely wanted to make sure I included that one and then the last one that I wanted to include was something to help tie everything together so I have pinks I have purples I have greens how do I tie that all together and Cleona Cosmetics to the rescue so this is the shade emboss and this is a um, glitter multi-chrome that they have and if you can see it has a lot of like ooh, if you can see it has a lot of like green glitter in it but then if you look at it from the side it's very pink so it kind of takes on a lot of different colors god these are so soft so if you look at it here, it's super green, and then it goes to like a pinky shade. And it's actually what I have on the inner portion of my lower lash line here. Um, but I just thought it was like such a necessary addition. Like, look at that. The effect of that is ridiculous. And so I thought that would help tie in some of the greens that I pulled, some of the purples that I pulled, the the pinks that I have I felt like that just really tied everything together and made this such a cohesive palette so I will go back and show you some photos that I took outside and hopefully some video if I can get the video to look just right um, of these swatched out across my arms so that you can get a better vibe for how beautiful these shades are And I'm so, so excited to see what my aunt has in store as well. Like I said, this is one half of our Better Together palette. So please head over to her channel um, and take a look at her half of the palette so you can see what it would look like all together. Um, I want to thank her so much for doing this collab with me. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye.